Hello guys, today we're going to be changing the transmission fluid in my 01 Golf TDI. Here's the fluid that I chose. This is what Volkswagen recommends. There's your part number right there. They updated the bottle as you can see. Uh, this was an older bottle I used years ago. Uh, it's the same stuff. You'll need two liters to uh, refill this once you drain it. It's a good idea to have the car warm so the fluid uh, runs out faster. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, we're going to remove the uh, splash shield underneath here to access our drain plug. Remember these are T25 torque screws. Okay, our splash shield is now removed. To locate the drain plug, which is right here, 17 millimeter hex style head. And here's your fill plug over here. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen this drain plug up and start draining the fluid. This is what you'll need right here, 17 millimeter. Fits in there perfectly. It's good time to take a break and let that drain. All right, this is still dripping slowly. I'm gonna let that go for a little while. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this fill plug. Uh, this power steering line here is in the way a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is loosen this mount here. This is uh, 13 millimeter. Loosen that up and take this out, and this will allow the line to drop a little bit, ever so slightly. So I can get that uh, uh, 17 millimeter socket on here and remove that fill plug. So let's go ahead and remove this. Okay, there we go. Now I have some wiggle room. Perfect. Now I can get my ratchet on there and loosen that. Ah, things tight. Need a little persuasion here. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, that's removed. Set that aside. <clears throat> okay, now what we need to do is fill that up with this fluid until it runs out of that hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the drain plug back in <clears throat> and we can start to refill it. All right, before we go ahead and refill this transmission fluid, make sure the vehicle's level so you can get the correct uh, fluid level in the tranny. I should have told you this from the beginning, but uh, yeah, make sure it's level.
I use these race ramps. They're pretty nice. They come in one and two piece uh, variations. And I like the two piece model because if you need access to this side of the vehicle, that's all you do is pull that out like that and uh, you have your easy access. And then when you need to back the vehicle off, off the ramp, you just pop it right back on like that. And you're good to go. Those are pretty nice. Yeah, I put the jack stands right here, the proper um, jacking points. So yeah, we can go ahead and start to uh, refill here. Okay, let's go ahead and put the drain plug back on. Light this up a little bit. Get our drain plug. Make sure you clean the inside of this drain plug real good, like so. And go ahead and install. Okay, that's tight. Now I can go ahead and fill it up. I have my little hose here I'm going to use. I had this laying around. I'm going to fill it from the top. There's a lot of ways you can do this, guys. You can pump it in if you have a transfer pump. I'm going to fill it from the top with a funnel. That's just what I have. So this hose going up here. And there's a funnel up there I'll show you on the top side. There's my little funnel. I'm just going to fill the fluid up this way and uh, gravity will do its job. I'll put my oil pan underneath there because it'll start to run out and then I'll stop, pull the hose out, put the fill plug back in and that's it. Hey right, guys, here's my setup with the funnel right into my hose. So what I'm going to do is start to uh, fill it up. Okay guys, you can see it's running out of the fill hole. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my hose out and put the plug back in. There we go, and I can tighten that up. Wipe the mess up a little bit here. Wasn't too bad. This is a pretty easy job, guys. Not too bad at all. That's why I like these old cars. Everything's pretty simple for the most part. Okay, that's tight. I go ahead and secure this support, uh, this 13 millimeter bolt here. Go ahead and reinstall that and just button everything back up. Okay, I secured this line back. Everything looks good. I can go ahead and put the belly pan back on or splash shield, whatever you want to call it. And that takes care of everything, guys. Just be safe while you're working under the vehicle. Make sure it's safely supported. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy job. But thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.